Mm-hmm. All right, take two. Um, actually, not take two. I just forgot to take my camera with me to work, so I had to come home before we headed to the pheasant farm. But anyway, hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to another one. Uh, today, obviously, we're going to the pheasant farm. There's probably a fair amount of you actually that haven't seen any of the pheasant farm, so if you're new to it, I'm gonna give you guys sort of a tour walkthrough. I haven't been there all this year. Um, it's my cousin's pheasant farm. I, well, we may or may not talk to him when I'm there. I didn't ask. I just am kind of showing up and hoping it's okay. Hopefully he's home and I can ask him then. But uh, yeah, we'll figure it out. But anyway, he has three flight pens. Normally there's 1,100 birds per pen. Uh, I think they just got done putting blinders on the last group last week, I think. So there should be some smaller ones, should be some bigger ones. I don't think anything's going to be all plumed out yet, but I don't know. We're going to go find out anyway. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in about 30 minutes. Well, me 30 minutes. For you guys, it's going to be about two seconds. All right. Ooh, hold on. I don't want to scare these birds. Hold on. Let's look. Let me get a better angle. While we're headed to the better angle. Yeah, I stopped in, talked to him. Uh, these are actually just sitting down for dinner, so kind of a bad time, but he said, yeah, have at it. So, uh, let's go look at the birds. This is the brooder room. Hey guys. All right, there should be right around 1,100 birds in here. Well, that they also get to go out in this uh, pen there that leads out to the main pens. Hope the fan's not too loud behind me. Trying not to scare them. Pheasants tend to be a little bit on the fidgety side. Okay, now, to start out here, I know, I already see you guys typing, why are there blinders on them? Okay, when you put 1,100 birds all together, and there's that many males, I think if I remember, I need to ask them again, but I think he normally does about 80% roosters uh, sometimes 90%, but you know, a high percentage of these are males. Uh, they get a little territorial and they fight. So they put these blinders on them and it really cuts down on the amount of fighting that they do because they can't square up. So they can still eat fine, drink fine, fly. I mean, they do everything pheasants do. Uh, they just can't fight as well. Which helps a ton, especially if you're trying to make them, you know, look all pretty and stuff. So. This is his brooder room, uh, in case you guys haven't seen it. These here are some little automatic waterers. Uh, they have these little little water cups on them here. See? Get a little bit of, they nibble on that a little bit, water comes down, and they get a drink. Feed, uh, my water's not working right now. There's some of those waters out, we'll look at those later. Uh, you know, feeders around. They're in here for the first while. I should have asked him how old these birds are. I don't know. Um, they're not super old by any means, of course. And then after they get the blinders on, they have access to this long runway. So we're gonna go out, we're gonna stand right there and look at it from that side. And I'll tell you kind of more about that. All right, in here, this is sort of like one of the transferring runways. I'll explain a little bit more once we get over to this side here. Whoop, sorry guys. That was my fault. Um, so this is a conditioning pen, basically. They still have the luxury of being able to go inside where we just were, but they can go out here in the wind and rain and you know whatever whatever the weather is, and it allows them to condition their feathers. That way, when they get kicked out, so what they'll do is they'll open this door up, and they can either close off that one if they want to go to this pen, or they can close. You know, that one and this one together and make them go straight but let's say let's say these birds are going into this pen which they're not uh, they would open this up close that off and then they can just push all the birds down here and this gate right here opens and then they're all out here in this big flight pen yeah so these birds Make sure I get this closed. That would be unfortunate. All right, so this pen is obviously a bit older. These guys are out here already exploring everything. They've probably been out here for a few, probably a month or so already. Um, not sure, maybe a couple months. 
Uh, I know you guys are gonna ask, this is kosher plant. Um, it's a natural native weed here in Kansas. Makes great cover though. And as you can tell, they like eating all the leaves off it about head level and uh, they run around. It's great cover for them though. They have these big range feeders, hold a lot of feed. Uh, they actually have enough feed out here. I think that he only has to feed like once a week, something like that, um, once they're adults actually. So they hold a ton of feed. They feed a high protein feed. I think it's like 20, 22%. Might be getting some of this stuff wrong. Um, it's been a while since I actually talked specifics on it. So this is kind of off the cuff, best I can remember type things. Okay, we'll just go down here and look a little bit. I got it didn't have much of a tail. Ooh. What are you doing, dude? Anyway, as you can tell, these guys are just starting to get their plumage. There's a hen. Little hen. Uh, so, they actually have hydrants piped in all the way out here. Um, so you'll have a big feeder. He goes through and it, during the summer, before he puts birds out here, like in the spring and summer, he actually takes the mower down and keeps these paths way mowed. That way he has, you know, space to get all the stuff done he needs to. Especially around here where the water is. So the water, automatic water hooks up. Um, runs into these here. It's a great setup. The sides are one by one chicken wire, just the normal hex wire. There is tin around the outside of the pens. The reason for the tin um, is a lot of your coyotes and stuff like that, coyotes, raccoons, things like that, are sight predators. If they can't see the things, normally they don't bother them quite as bad. So that and the birds, you know, don't get freaked out by things running around the outside quite as much. Uh, the top is two by two netting. I can't remember off the top of my head what the dimensions of the pen are. I think it's 300 by like 100 or 300 by 50. But if you guys like this video enough, uh, maybe I'll come out here later on and get more specifics about the whole thing and, uh, you know, maybe, you know, get actual facts. Here's another one of the feed sites. Um, yeah, I think there's three of them actually in each pen. It's hot, so I don't want to bug these birds too much. But if I get to film them a little bit more, I will. Colors are just starting to come in on these guys here. Nothing crazy. It's funny, the first time I came out here, like two years ago, there was one pheasant that, you know, wanted to fight me. It seems like there's always one, one or two per pen that, you know, he'll stalk you, he'll, he'll front up, and he wants to get it on. So, uh... Yeah, let's go check out a different pen. All right, down this runway, I can tell already, these are the oldest birds here. Anyone else's heart get real, real excited when that happened? Uh, let me get in here. These birds are much, much more plumed. Ooh, hi, pretty girl. Anyway, uh, this is the first batch, obviously, that he put out here. They're gonna be a little bit more on the skittish side, but maybe we can see them down the runway here. All right, for all you guys that are getting ready to type in uh, if he has any birds for sale, I don't know if he has any birds left. Uh, I know he does not ship. No, he does not sell eggs and most of his stuff is pre-ordered. So I would imagine a lot of these birds are probably already sold. If he has any, there's probably not very many left, but I will ask him in the next video uh, that I do here if you guys want me to. So anyway, as you can tell, these guys, wow, look at the, look at the ring on that guy's neck. How big that thing is. Pick him out from a mile away, wow. I can hear him. Oh, there's a couple. You can barely see him. What's up, dude? Such pretty birds. Absolutely gorgeous. Same system uh, as in the other pens. Let's see if we can catch some birds slipping. I really want to build some pens like this. I don't think I want to raise this many birds. 
Maybe I do. I don't know. I think it'd be fun. I'd like to raise some pheasants, some chuckers, some quail. Maybe someday. Maybe someday. I would love to, though. I think it'd be a lot of fun. Hey, pretty boy. Um, sometimes he has like a bird that every once in a while has some leucistic qualities, like a bunch of white in it. Uh, I know you can get melanistic ones where they have a lot of black. I don't think he has anything like that crazy this year, but we'll find out sometime. Is anybody gonna fly? Sometimes they like to sit up on top of the kosher. The older, uh, the older the birds get, the longer they're in here. These plants get beat down, beat down, because they sit on them a lot. And I mean, it's just, it's fun to come in here sometimes you just see 30 birds sitting up on top of everything. But they obviously are not doing that right now. Wow, you are pretty, oh man. Well, I missed him. There were some ones with really nice tails. There were a few that had really long tails, but they're on the other side. And the sun just made it a problem to catch them on camera. But here's these guys. I'm glad they're not too freaked out that I'm here. Anyway, uh, I'll go show you the empty pen. That way you have an idea of what it looks like uh, before they're put into it. Just in case you're wondering. Some of you probably noticed that there is uh, rat station, like bait stations for rats and mice. Uh, the main reason for that, I'll need to double check with them, but I'm 90% sure that I've heard him say before uh, that you want to make sure there's no rats and stuff because the rats will come in and chew the tails off of the birds. The majority of these birds are sold to um, hunt clubs or outfitters that are selling uh, you know, canned pheasant hunts uh, where they go out and release birds and then people go out and hunt them later. Um, and the prettier the bird, the better. Uh, if you don't have very pretty birds, a lot of times you get docked for it a little bit. You can actually charge a premium for extra nice birds, which makes sense. So if you can keep you know, stuff from messing up your birds, not only is it good for the bird, you know, it, it helps you out too. Another thing, easy bud. Another thing, these poles here that are supporting that, there's cables that run through the netting and these two by fours get pushed up onto the crosses. That way if we get a heavy snow or something like that, you can come in, knock these out, the netting comes down, and that way you don't rip your netting all to shreds because there's, you know, tons of snow on it. I'll tell you, when they put these things together, they were thinking. Mm-hmm. Love that sound. Anybody else with me? Anybody else want to do something cool for the camera? And here is pen three with nothing in it yet. So, as you can tell, everything's nice and mowed along the edges. You know, just keeping everything down, trying to keep all the, the big plants out of the middle, which since he has the same path every year, uh, it's a little easier to keep the weeds uh, where he wants them. Well, nothing crazy. It's just a, a blank canvas waiting for birds. Which I think those birds, uh, the little ones that you saw at the very beginning, I think they'll be out here in like a week. Something like that, they'll be out here soon. Uh, anyway, that's the pheasant farm. Hope you guys liked it. All right, well, that does it for this video. Uh, if you guys like the pheasant farm stuff and you wanna see more about it, uh, feel free to drop me a comment, tell me what you like, what you didn't like, what you wanna see, what you don't wanna see. If you have any questions that I need to go ask, um, yeah, let me know down in the comments. Uh, upcoming videos. I've got a dove hunt coming up. It was a good one. It's a good solid limit. Uh, it was a lot of fun. It's from last year, but uh, you know, you guys have never seen it. So that one's coming up. I believe I did that hunt with a 20 gauge. You know, just throw that out there. Uh, dove season is right around the corner. It is a week from today, and I am pumped. You have no idea how pumped I am. But yeah. Anyway. A lot of stuff happening. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, you guys know the drill. Hit that thumbs up button. Uh, it helps me out a ton. It really, really does. Uh, if you guys aren't subscribed, like the 70% of you that are watching that aren't, uh, I'd really appreciate a subscription if you like the content. If not, uh, hopefully we'll just catch you on the next one. 